you are all required to take a history class during some point during high school. Between you and me, I plan on taking naps during this period. But surprisingly, my expectations changed dramatically when we came upon the Italian Renaissance. I was immediately interested by the artwork and the people during that time period. I was especially inspired by Michelangelo. Between his sculpting, drawing, painting, and poetry, in my eyes, he was a world-class artist. Today, I will talk to you about three main points why I think Michelangelo is the greatest artist of all time. One, Michelangelo developed artistic abilities early in life. Two, Michelangelo created highly accredited art pieces. And three, Michelangelo's love for art never diminished. We all develop talents at a young age, but not all of us are blessed with artistic abilities. Which leads me into my first main point. Michelangelo developed artistic talents early in life. Bio.com contains only the most gripping, surprising, and fascinating stories of famous people. It is the website registered trademark for a and &E, which has 330 million subscribers worldwide. Michelangelo was born March 6, 1475 in Capresi, Italy. He was the second of five brothers. His mother, however, became very ill so Michelangelo was sent away until his mother became well again. When he returned, he was almost immediately apprenticed to Domenico Ghirlandaio, who was Florentine's famous artist at that time. He was sent to this person because his father did not approve of Michelangelo's love for art. At this time, he was exposed to many elites of Florence and uh, realized that he was good at sculpting and uh, referred to his artwork as muscle precision and lyrical beauty. A professor at Yale had an article that was published February 4th, 2015. Michelangelo lived in Florence after he was after he left from Domenico Ghirlandaio. Florence was the center of art at that time and only the most accomplished artists made it then. In 1491, Michelangelo made his first sculpture, which was the Madonna of Stairs, at the age of 16. A year later, he created the Battle of Centaur in 1492. After these two sculptures, he flourished. In review, young and talented Michelangelo lived a well-off childhood. And he was very lucky to receive artistic abilities, which would become worldwide known. This leads me into my second main point, which is Michelangelo created highly accredited art pieces. Bio.com is a reliable source due to the high eminent authors such as Laura Grimm. The first sculpture I'm going to talk about is the Pieta, which is six feet tall and six feet wide. It was made in 1498 from an old discarded block of marble. The sculpture is of Mary holding Jesus after he was crucified on the cross. It was made in under one year, and Michelangelo was 25 years at that time. It is in St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City today. The second structure is David. It is 17 feet tall. It was made and still in Florence, and they consider it one of their prized possessions today. An interesting fact is that it was abandoned by two artists and Michelangelo took over after they left. Author Gilbert from Yale had another article covering the Sistine Chapel that was published on February 4, 2015. It took under four years for Michelangelo to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. It contains 12 figures and nine different stories. Three from the beginning of the world, three stories from Adam and Eve, and three stories from Noah. During this time period, he went through many manic stages, but he didn't let it get to him. He used anger and frustration to create a, a very well-known and beautiful ceiling. In review, Michelangelo created three art pieces, the Pieta, David, and the Sistine Chapel. He may have doubt himself, but overall, he came through with amazing art pieces. For my third and final main point, he, 
Michelangelo's love for art never diminished. The professor of history and art at Yale wrote The Last Decades, which was published on the Encyclopedia Britannica. After he retired from sculpture and painting, he resorted into a job that didn't require laboring work, architecture. He did many projects, such as the Capitoline Hill, which is the old city hall in Florence, the Palazzo Farnese, which is the Pope's house, and he was the head architect of the Dome of St. Peter's Basilica. However, he never got to see the dome finish because he died in February 18, 1564. The dome was finished on fi in 1585. Evan Andrews wrote nine interesting facts about Michelangelo. It was published on History.com, which is a satellite TV owned by A&D and Disney. On uh, March 16th, it was published, which makes it a very recent source. A couple unknown facts that you may not know is a jealous rival broke Michelangelo's nose. He committed art fraud. He did art pieces for nine different popes. He was a very accomplished poet. And he worked up to the week of his death, making the Rendani Pieta, which is the second piece to the original Pieta. Another unknown fact that you may not have heard of was in 1972, someone took <coughs> sorry, a hammer to the Pieta, trying to destroy it. And in 1991, somebody chiseled off the left toe of David, and it is still missing today. In review, Michelangelo never gave up because of old age. He found a way to still incorporate art into his life without doing such laboring work. Michelangelo set the standards high for artists to come and became a very big part of the Italian Renaissance. We all have our special perks and activities we enjoy to do. Just like I like to learn about the Italian re Renaissance and do my own artwork. It really opened my eyes to the abilities I didn't know I had. I look up to Michelangelo's mental strength because I don't know if I would have been able to handle the stress that he was put under. He paints, sculpts, and does his own poetry. I consider him to be a triple threat. I have on my bucket list to visit the Vatican City, Rome, and St. Peter's Basilica to see Michelangelo's work. Today I discussed with you three main points. My first was Michelangelo developed artistic abilities early in life. Second, he created highly accredited art pieces. And my third was Michelangelo's love for art never diminished. This is why I believe Michelangelo is the greatest artist of all time.